Hello, this is Bob Mann with, from with uh, Mann Smart Drive. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate Steve Haskins' test with the uh, smart controller. I want you to take uh, very good attention to the watts in the bottom left hand corner of the grid tie and the LEDs. I'm going to do this by hand to show how this thing works. The unit allows you to start moving it, and you saw the light blinking. Now it's starting to make power, and it's loading down. So what else? Now the grid tie has just started to go green, and as you can see, I'm starting to put some power in here. It's loading down right now for me, and it's getting harder and harder, and it's trying to suck all the power out of the smart drive, and as I keep going and going and going and going, I can get this up. Hello everybody, now I'm going to show you hooked up to a grid tie 2000 watt unit from China, a Jing Wang. This is like the, the top of the line for everybody. Hooked up directly to the smart drive and the amount of force it takes just to get these things started compared to a Steve's smart drive controller. And this is it's already kicked in and I'm killing myself right now to turn this. Which, earlier in the video you saw. I'm going to zero in on the watt maker and show you the amount of difference of watts I can make with a controller like we've designed here with Steve and compared to the top of the line $1800 gin line. I'm going to rerun the test on the gin long and I'm going to go ahead and crank this up. I'm pushing out about 50 volts. And I am struggling to show the waters that you got there. So I am killing myself right now. One arm doing the same test as I did with the original smart controller built by Steve. And as you can see, I am like doubling the ability. And I can't even crank this thing up. I'm probably doing, well, you've already seen it, so I am dying.